Hello there, it's Ingus from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be working on uh, something different than I did in uh, uh, past videos. Uh, today we are working on a little project that I am building for one of my uh, lines that I am working on. And uh, the system I'm going to be using here is SMC Linear Actuator with uh, SMC uh, LEC. P2 series a step about the driver uh, the reason I'm using this uh, uh, system down here because it, it's pretty cool to what you can do for a relatively uh, small price you know and today I'm going to be running through exactly how to uh, wire, uh, wire it up and uh, sort of setting this uh, thing up and uh, uh, as soon as you get it and uh, show you some of the setups you can do and produce uh, some pretty cool things you can work with and uh, for the first things first uh, let's get to uh, wiring and then I'll show you how the wiring is done right right from the start you will need a uh, three uh, different uh, cables CN1 uh, which is a, a power cable CN2 it's your um, uh, cable that goes to motor and uh, encoder and CN3 it's going to be the one that's going to be uh, working the I.O. is pretty much inputs and outputs so uh, this down here I quickly run you on our on, on power supply how to wire it up because I know at the beginning it looks a bit confusing it's got four different cables I'll talk you through that one now and I will link all the part numbers of all these cables uh, below in description so if you do want to uh, get into this uh, stuff then uh, you should be able to do that but other than that you can get these all these part numbers of original uh, manual which SMC has made a really nice one which I'll show in a minute so I'll quickly show you in a minute how to uh, wire up the power supply and how I did it in my end so in my system I am using two different power supplies because one of them is driving the controller and uh, the, the motor another one is right driving the input and output and uh, the reason I'm doing that because even uh, even so the manual is saying that uh, you should not be using uh, the same uh, power supply the one you use for the inputs and then and, and, and hopefully not for outputs as well so, so sort of trying to uh, if, if you are running some sort of DC motors and things like that with it uh, try to separate these things away from the controllers because it's an induction that happens in those motors and there's all sorts of bad things going on you don't want that to happen in a in a sensitive electronics uh, as you can see down there this is this one down here is the cable that comes from the from the controller as you can see it's got four different colors uh, it's got black, white, brown and blue so quickly run you through what they are so the blue one is uh, self-explanatory in this system it will be your um, a negative part of the, 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 the power supply that goes back to controller and then there's a brown and a white as you can see they are both joined together because that brown one is for the controller and the white one will be for the for the motor that goes into the controller and controller will, will, will process the power in there and the black one in there black one on there is, is, is when it's activated when 24 signal goes into it it releases the brake so uh, basically it releases the brake from the, from the motor you can wire it in in my situation I don't need it and in other situations you probably would depending on your application but that's the wiring of the power supplies and uh, let's get to have a look in a minute how to get your controller going once you put it, uh, get it out of the box So once it's out of the box and you have uh, done all the wiring things like that and uh, power the controller up the first thing that's going to happen is it will be uh, flashing a red alarm and a little red, red, uh, red alarm a light there pretty much it, the, the, the reason why it's doing that is it, it doesn't know because it's just been uh, uh, started up and it doesn't know what is it working, what, working with so it wants to learn the stroke so that, that's the first thing we're going to do is uh, teach him the stroke and to do that we uh we power up the controller my controller is already uh, knows what he's doing so uh he's, he's, he's not going to be flashing a red alarm but uh to sort of uh demonstrate that anyway i will uh show you how it's done and uh winding up a possible screwdriver to 
To do, so to do that, you flip this sharper switch into a uh, manual mode, and so you see, so it's flashing red. So we do, and then we need to turn this dial, which is the the uh, position dial, uh, all the way to 15 or position F. And once you're in an F position, just hold the uh, set button for about three seconds, roughly. And I quickly zoom out so you can see what's going on. So now, as you can see, the drive is learning what is it working working with. So it's going to go with just learn the one end, the motor end, and it will uh, learn the other side as well. So once it's done that, you can see this uh, F stop flashing, and now the alarm by now it should be gone. So that will be the first step to do once you get out of the box. So once you've done that, uh, you're pretty much you're ready to go to start program the positions. Now the the, the stepping motor knows all these all, all the stroke what he's working with, so he has learned all that. Now he's ready for you to uh, pretty much start uh, to programming the positions. And to start program positions, you, it starts from position really three, because the zero I don't really know what zero is, but the position one, it's dedicated for the. Quickly show you. You have to be in the manual mode to do that. So the position, let's just quickly go to the position too, because we already just clicked that. So uh, when when you flip the flip the uh, dial to whatever position, it will, it will show you on the screen which position is it. And 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 and, and uh, to to sort of see where the position is going, you once you click the set button, it will go to that position. So this is where I am. So uh, that's what I'm a program to. It's position one, position two, unfortunately can't be changed because those are the strong ends. The ones you can change, it starts from position three. So let's get go back to uh, turn the dial to back to number one and uh, press set. And go back to that position, the first position there. So uh, the first, uh, the, the 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 teachable position starts from three. So that's how we we turn dial to three. So. If you want to know where the position 3 is at the moment, let's just quickly... Uh, by the default, they're going to be the motor end, but I think I played around with it as well, so we'll see where the... So, this is pretty much where my position 3 is. And if you want to change that, all you need to do is hold the set button and uh, the number 3 starts flashing. And by using these buttons, up and down, which we can show you how that works, you can now move uh, to the next position and teach that new position. So uh, once you once you're done you, there's another way to do it, which are which is my preferred way to do it, is I like to kill the power from the stepper motor and do it manually. By doing that you need to quickly let me zoom in you hold up and down button together until the power light starts flashing and you can see power light is flashing there's no more power to the, the motor and the brakes release so now you can move things by hand let's say we want this position so now what you need to do is hold set button until T starts, uh, stops flashing we've seen that so you can see the three stops flashing and now the controller has learned that position so we're going to do the trial, trial run we're going to put the power back on again you hold the buttons and the power is going to back on and if I would click the set button it will not do anything because it already has learned that position as you can see so to demonstrate that the position has changed let's just send him back to position 2 so we click to position 2 click set he goes to position 2 and then we go back to uh, position 3 and you'll see that he will stop exactly where I thought it and you can do that literally in all the positions and it goes to uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then so on, all the way to F. No, it goes to 
whatever that button uh, i think it's a b c d e so it will be the e uh, so uh, that's that that'll be the last out in all to get that you can uh teach uh, well so there's a 14 positions but a uh, 12 of them can be thought so pretty much that's how you teach the positions and, uh, and then and, uh, let me quickly set things up and i'll show you how the wiring for input and outputs work Okay, the the inputs and outputs is where the, the is, is is pretty much the controls where where the fun starts. So uh, it's pretty much with those inputs and outputs you can really uh, do some seriously good automations. And before I show you how the wiring is done and how it really works, uh, I will show you the diagram that the uh, SMC has uh, made. It's not a diagram; it's like a it's like a little table. As you can see down there, it's got a four inputs and it's got four outputs, and uh, it's, it's it's got like a black dots and a white dots into it. So basically, what it indicates if an input zero is pushed, as it's made as black, then 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 it will go to position one, and once it reaches the position, it will activate output zero. So when you click the input uh, one. As you can see, it's indicated by black for the position two. The output one will go on. So uh, to understand to, 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 to understand how that would really benefit the room, why it does. So uh, when the system goes from one end to a, another, it is it it is but any combination of those switches is in a combination in combination of. Uh, a uh, input uh, input uh, signals, which is 24 volt signals, going back to the controller. You can just uh, send them to all these different positions, all the way to 14. You can all the way 12 position. Well, 14 positions you can manipulate by just playing with inputs. So to demonstrate how that works, but first I'll show you how the wiring is being done. It's fairly forward. I am using the PNP basically. We are switching uh, power cables, so. Uh, the way it works in the little uh, in diagrams, quite straightforward. This is explained by uh, zoomed in uh, by SMC what each wire color means and what it, it does. It says COM plus and COM minus. So first things first, you need to send the power to the controller. Uh, this is where my uh, second uh, second power supply from there is coming from. It's sending going power goes to. Right now it looks like a right old mess, but you'll understand very quickly once you get to it. So my two 24 volt signals, the plus and the minus, comes in here, and these two cables on the bottom down here they go back to the controller. So uh, now that the controller's got the, the the negative part of it and uh, and 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 the positive part as well. So uh, on the PMP we are we are going to be switching the plus. So pretty much the 24. Then the, now I need to send. A 24 volt signal, uh, 24 volt signal back to the controller. To do that, I'll take the 24 volt power source, coming to switch all the switch ends, pretty much, except the last one, which is going to be like output end. So it comes to oop, it comes to all the switch ends, and every single switch once it's clicked, it sends back. That'll be uh, input zero, input one, input two, and input three. They just send uh, the power back to the controller the power and then sort of activate those inputs and I have for demonstration purposes I have uh, used one of the outputs as well output in this uh, in this form is classed as a load so you so we will need the the, the neutral uh, negative parts so basically we more or less for the relays and things like that so uh, which 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 can activate the, uh, the other signals to go basically it's very good for the PLC but sort of demonstrate what it does every time it reaches uh, and sometimes when it reaches to some of those positions so I've got negative coming here and then obviously once the uh, controller stops it'll send the 24 signal out to uh, I, uh, output zero and that's where my output zero comes so to sort of show you how that works, let me just so zoom back out to show the whole thing. The first position we're gonna trial. I'm not sure you can see the controller as well, but in a, we're gonna trial out. We're gonna activate a, a, a input zero, and you will see where it goes, and it should output zero should come on once it reaches the position. So the first one you do. Input one, which is this guy. So by clicking that, 
you can see it's already another end so as you can see output has come on it has reached that position and obviously to be able to do that you have to be in automatic mode you cannot do this in manual mode so uh, remember that so the next one we can do on the switch I'll see if I can uh, play with all of them you more or less hopefully you get the gist in the end so if you click input 1 it will uh, activate position 2 and that will be the motor side so let's have a look so by clicking that you will see the controller now on the controller you can see it shows in here it shows the position 2 has been activated so uh, the next position we can try which is position 3 would have, we would need to activate input 1 and input 0 and uh, that should go for the position 3 so but you have to be fairly quickly that's why this is where the PLC comes from where the PLC can literally uh, switch those buttons together where not the buttons the, the, those uh, signals together quite quickly so but we're gonna try with do it with the fingers so position 3 is input 1 and uh, no, input 0 and input 1 there we go so here we go it's going to the position 3 so the position 4 will be input 2 probably that one there we go, that's in the position 4, see if we can get position 5, and I think that's the last, next, uh, next to the positions I have not programmed. So we'll be input 2 and input a 0. No, we didn't. There we go, you just said you have to be pretty good to get in position. So you pretty much hopefully understand and then get the gist of how that works. By these, all the combinations, you can create some pretty incredible automations for relatively, for relatively uh, cheap money and uh, yeah, uh, not much of a knowledge required so as you can see my output 0 for the position 5 output 0 does come on so uh, and by doing that so the output, those outputs can send back the E6 signals back to the PLC and then, and then uh, activate the different signals to go for different position and, and, and so on and so on uh, I will be making a secondary follow up video to show you so the project I'm going to be working on is pretty much going to be for automated dosing equipment uh, that will be dosing uh, line uh, 8x6 as far as I remember so uh, and so I will be using this system three, uh, two different, uh, two different uh, linear systems and plus one uh, horizontal one as well and uh, pretty much that is it it is a very very cool system to have for what it costs and what it does and it works absolutely incredible the technology behind has been put good good thinking good thought and uh, and, 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 and and its uses can be maximized in in many many different fields so it, it, i think it's a perfect entry level to any engineer to get into to start learning and pretty much get the crack on with some automation so so that will be up, uh, about it about uh, this controller i will definitely be doing a follow-up video on uh, my project but it's not going to be anytime soon because it takes a while to get something like that built so uh, thank you very much for watching and hope it makes sense if it doesn't definitely let me know and and i will see you in the next video